the church on the hill, St. Thomas Mount, Chennai, India. Presented by Holidays on Shoestrings. St. Thomas Mount, or Paragimalai as the locals call it, is a small hillock in Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India, very close to the Chennai International Airport. It is a well-known and well-loved pilgrimage spot. At the northern foot of the mount is a gateway of four impressive arches surmounted by a cross bearing the inscribed date 1547. A flight of 160 granite steps lead up to the summit of the mount. There are 14 stations of the cross erected on the way to the summit. The minute precision with which the figures have been molded and the heaviness of the rare metal used in them add color and life to the scenes of the station of the cross along the way. A shrine dedicated to Our Lady of Expectation, Mother Mary, was built in 1523 on top of the mount. It was built in the mid 16th century by the Portuguese who established a mission at the mount. The altar of this shrine was built on the spot where St. Thomas, thought to be the founder of the Christian communities on the west coast of India, is traditionally believed to have died in 68 AD. This holy shrine of St. Thomas holds the relics of St. Thomas, namely his toe bone. The things used in their day-to-day -day living or any part of their body uncoupled by the passing of time are termed as relics. These relics are venerated by the Catholic community and every Catholic church has its altar consecrated on the relic of a saint. This church also contains some holy things such as the cross carved by St. Thomas on a rock and the painting of Mother Mary and Child Jesus by St. Luke brought by St. Thomas when he came to India. As per tradition, the oil painting of the Madonna of the Blessed Virgin was painted by St. Luke the Evangelist on wood and was brought here by St. Thomas and used by him for prayer. Hence, it is popularly known as Scapula of St. Thomas. The legend goes that the Virgin died when Thomas was away and on his return, he had the tomb opened in order that he might once more look upon her. It was found that the body had been miraculously removed and so disturbed that St. Luke offered to paint him a portrait of the Virgin as a consolation. This portrait St. Thomas carried with him on all his wanderings. These are relics of St. Thomas and have been around for ages and venerated by many. This shrine now boasts of more than a hundred relics of saints, which also includes relics of Saint Joseph, Mother Mary, and all the apostles of Jesus. The framed oil painting of Saint Thomas being pierced with a lance from behind in his praying posture on the wall behind the high altar is the high point of awe and devotion for all who climb the hill to reach the sanctuary. The ancient church on the top of St. Thomas Mount has served as a lighthouse for the Portuguese and Armenian ships and the vessels in the Bay of Bengal in the 16th and 17th century. Interestingly, it is said when sailors sighted the church, they offered prayers for a safe voyage and then discharged from their artillery in salutation. Preserving its glorious antiquity, this five-century-old shrine chapel has been renovated and restored in the recent times. The Mount of St. Thomas is easily accessed by the devotees who make the vowed climb through the granite steps as an act of penance and sacrifice. The facade of the shrine chapel is beautifully ornamented and highlighted by the Portuguese coat of arms engraved in rich granite and it serves as an official signature of the Portuguese who were the architects of this historical place of worship. 
On one side is a fabulous engraving of the Last Supper. Outside on a bench was a delightful sculpture of a life-size Christ figure lying shrouded in a blanket, an internationally recognized symbol of compassion and awareness for the homeless. The view from the top of the mount is breathtakingly beautiful. The city of Chennai on one side and the airport on the other. To aid those who were unable to climb the steps, a beautiful road has been constructed on the opposite side by the army, whose cantonment lies at the foot. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and tell your friends about it.